Welcome to Cooper and the Moose's YouTube channel, where we have lots of fun creating art, making crafts, and conducting science experiments. Today, we're gonna make this really awesome sea otter. But first, we're gonna learn a little bit about northern sea otters. They are a marine mammal that can be found from Alaska to California. They live about 15 to 20 years. They have special teeth to crack open the shells of crabs, clams, and mussels so they can eat them. And they even eat sea urchins. Ouch, that looks like it would hurt. Okay, now that we know a little bit about sea otters, let's get started. What's really fun about this project is we make the ocean with soap, water, and a sponge. Here's what you're gonna need. Scissors, a black pin, blue paint, dish soap, a sponge, a paint tray, watercolor paper, red paper, dark brown and light brown paper. You will also need to go to my website, moosemischief.com and print off the otter template. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some water into our paint tray. Then I'm going to pour in some dish soap. Next, I'll pour in some blue paint. I'm gonna grab my sponge and I'm gonna mix the blue paint around in my water. You want to make sure you put more paint than water into your tray so that you have lots of blue for the background of your painting. All right, now that I got it nice and sudsy, I am going to dip my watercolor paper into the water. Once your paper is all wet, take the sponge and move around the soap sets on the top, just like this. Okay, so now that I have it all full of suds, I'm actually just gonna leave it on a flat surface to let it dry. It's gonna create this really neat bubble effect. So while this is drying, we're gonna work on our sea otter. All right, so now you're gonna grab the template so we can cut out our otter. You will start by cutting out the otter's body. When you have the body cut out, you will place it upside down onto the dark brown piece of paper. Then we're gonna grab a pencil and we're going to trace around our otter's body. As soon as you have the body traced, it's time to cut it out. There we have our otter's body. We're gonna go back to the otter template and we're gonna cut out the otter's face and his belly. So next we're gonna flip these upside down and we are going to trace them onto the light brown piece of paper. And then we'll cut them out. The next step is to grab the template again and cut off the starfish. Set it aside for the moment. And then you'll cut out the nose and the hands. So now that you have those cut out, you're gonna put them upside down and you're gonna put them on the dark brown piece of paper. And you're going to trace them. I bet you can guess the next step. We're gonna cut them out. Okay, remember that starfish? Let's cut it out. Okay, grab the red piece of paper, place the starfish upside down, and trace it. Then you will cut out the starfish. So next we're gonna glue the sea otter together. Okay, so now you will draw the otter's face so it matches the one that I did earlier. Now that the paper is all dry, I'm going to glue on the otter. Isn't it cute? All right, now you've finished your artwork. You can hang it up in your bedroom or you can give it to a parent, grandparent, or a friend as a gift. I would love to see your artwork too, so please take a photo of it and post it to Facebook or Instagram, hashtag at Moose Mischief. And if you haven't already, please buy my book, Moose Mischief, A Pancake Surprise.